Good morning, everybody. Okay, so this is day number two of the little venture to San Jose. Okay, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go down to the pool and I'm gonna put my new skateboard together. So we're gonna go down there and construct a skateboard. <laughs> down to where the pool is because um, it's outside so it's fresh air and there's a nice sun right in my face how nice and there's no one else no one else comes out here to the pool it's like I won't have like people jabbering in the back so that'll be perfect so first things first we're gonna take the trucks off of my old skateboard today this will be a very big helper One down, seven more to go. Seven down, one to go. Woohoo! Yes. Awesome. Oh yeah. Now I got two decks with no trucks. How awesome is that? Okie dokie, let's compare the decks. This is my old one, which I've had for about two or so years. This is my new one, which I just got yesterday. So as you can see, the grip tape on the new one is much cleaner, and it actually feels way grippier because it's fresher. And this board actually flexes a lot when I like push down both sides. This one does not. So according to my understandings, I'm gonna be able to ollie this one better and yeah, let's put the new, let's put the old trucks onto the new deck. There's my pile of bolts. One bolt down, seven more to go. Seven down and one to go. Voila. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I have a new skateboard. Ta-da! Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Maybe we should put the trucks back on this skateboard. Look! Look at how dirty. Like this grip tape is. It's like full of dust and mud. Look at this fresh one. That was a nice accomplishment. That was actually my first time putting on, taking off trucks and putting them onto another skateboard. Because when I got my first skateboard made. I just got like the whole thing made at the at a little skate shop in the States. This is actually my first time doing it. I was like, how hard could it be? And it wasn't that hard at all. All you need is a screwdriver and the right size of like a, well they have the little T tools for the skateboard, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but now, okay, you know, there's a really cool thing about this hotel is that in the morning, there's like a buffet breakfast. It is like the best breakfast ever. You can just, you can eat as much as you possibly can, and there is so much food. So, I'm not sure when they open. They might open within a few minutes, but we're definitely going down there, and I'm going to eat so much food. They usually have, like, sometimes they have, like, waffles, they have fruit, they have muffins, they'll have, like, orange juice. This is the first time I come over to the pool, and I don't go in the pool. Right outside this window, there's a bird. What's he doing? He has like eyebrows. What you doing? I think that for him walking on glass is a bit slippery. <laughs> okay, we've made it to the buffet. And I found the falafels. No wait. Waffles. <laughs> Not falafels, waffles. Excuse me.
Okay. Okay, so here's my extra healthy breakfast. I got a teeny bit of guy pinto on the bottom, not very much. I have four waffles, I mean two waffles. Um, a bunch of butter, some chocolate chips, a bunch of syrup, and then some powdered sugar. Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious. And some orange juice. Now this is a breakfast. Subway sandwich number two, day number two. Okay, my mom and sister went to this little store, but they still close, and I don't really want to go, but I'm gonna go anyways and see, you know, maybe I'll find something, you never know. Surprisingly, I actually found something that I sort of kind of like. So you'll see what it is in one of my next videos. Coming soon. Da -da -da -da. There's people looking at me. She looked at me. Did you see that? Did you see that? She, she was looking at me. Why do people look at me? People, they like look at me and they're like, oh, one sec. What on earth is that kid doing? Goofing around with a camera in his hand vlogging. I'm making a YouTube video. That's what I'm doing. So a two-up, the person who never sleeps, is going to try to take a nap. Moments later. I just can't go to sleep. I just, it's impossible to go to sleep. I don't know how people take naps in the middle of the day. Nope, can't do it. I'm just going to have to stay awake until about 12 o'clock at night because I'm going to be editing my last video. Always editing. Jesus, it's so hot out. We just went all the way from San Jose to the ferry in the heat. I'm literally like gonna disintegrate. I'm like running to get to the room on the ferry, which has AC gladly. Because without that, I don't know what we would do. Open the door. Open the door. Oh, AC. Right now, uh, that thing. The AC unit is my best friend right now. Without that, I don't know if I would have been able to make it onto the ferry. Oh man, that is the best AC ever. Okay guys, we have almost arrived back to our side of, well, we almost got back. I am so pooped from this long two day journey. Yesterday we got up at three in the morning. This morning I got up at like six to start my video and I am pooped. So this, there's not gonna be too many more clips after this part, so I guess I'll just outro out because once it gets dark, the quality of videos goes downhill. So thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in one of my next adventures or something like that. You guys are awesome. Thanks for all the support. Catch you later. Maybe I'll do a little Q&A once I get back to civilization where there's internet. Then I can answer a few questions. Maybe a quote. Possibly. But yeah, for now we just got to get off of this ferry and finish the last, the last leg of the journey and get home.
Okay, it's morning now. Last night I didn't get a chance to answer a question and do a quote because my stomach started hurting really bad. I don't know, I must have like picked up something in the city, tons of germs and stuff. But it's the morning of the next day, I feel a bit better and I'm gonna answer a question and do a quote. Okay, so the question is was asked by WolfKid808, the epic dude. So what he said is, how often do you go surfing? Also, why are you so good at surfing and skating? Okay, so how often do I go surfing? I go surfing a few times a week at least. So I'll try to go like once a day or twice, sometimes more, sometimes less. It depends what else is going on that week. And for also, why are you so good at good at surfing and skating? Well, surfing, because I've been surfing for, for quite a long time, so I'm all right at surfing. And skating, I'm actually, I don't think of myself as that good at skating. Compare, like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of tricks that I want to learn, which I will learn once I practice them a lot. But yeah, so surfing, I'm a little bit better at than skating. But yeah, there is your answer. And for the quote, this quote, I kind of like this quote. Here's the quote. There is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. So you kind of figure out what that means. But what it means to me is that there's no easy way to success. You have to work at it, be consistent. Maybe it's, it's not just going to happen like as easy as going up an elevator. So it's kind of like comparing an elevator to a stairs. As most of the time to be successful, it's not as easy as just going up an elevator. You're going to have to go up something, comparing it like a stairs. So what that what it means to me is that it, it's not the easiest thing in the world to be successful. So there you go, that's what it means to me. Hope you guys, you, hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for this uh, two day adventure. It was really fun filming it. It was really fun having you guys come along. I really, really appreciate all the support. I can't thank you guys enough for all, all the comments and stuff. You guys motivate me. And yeah, I'll see you guys. I'll see you all in my next adventure or something.